You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week, and I'm gonna be playing Packland. And uh, this is a notable Pac-Man game because it doesn't play like any of the other Pac-Man games. It's not a puzzle. It's not a, I'm sorry, not a puzzle, but an action maze game. So if you've been playing Smash Brothers and you're wondering why he has uh, like a hydrant, I think that's supposed to be it, the red hydrant here. Now that was a waste of power pellet, there wasn't even anyone around to use it on. Alright, here we go again, but they're all up there, okay, one. So I guess it plays like a... Well, imagine the normal Pac-Man, but in 2D, left and right only, and that's it. You just go right all the time. <laughs> Don't even have to. There aren't even dots around. But there's still cherries and power pellets. Come on. And once again, this game had like a NES version release. That was the one I'm actually more familiar with. The one I played, at least. These days I play it just because well, Pac-Man is a very well-known, iconic character. Alright, some platform elements now. Instead of just literally walking left to right I wonder what's those th ghosts that they're dropping like is that their kids or something and they're just dropping it to get Pac-Man I'll try the hard one now let's see how different or harder it is and they really drop a lot of ghosts there. Um, okay, I'm obviously doing something wrong here. Well, guess I'm not ready for that yet. Okay, well, I think that should be it for this video. This is Pac-Land. Um, I would say this is just for the Pac-Man fans only. Otherwise, stick to the classic Pac-Man, which is uh, definitely classic. Or Miss Pac-Man, that's actually much better. That's it for this video. You're watching 8 bit days a week. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.